Hey guys, I'm here today to show off the new product that we're offering. It's called the Digital to Analog Converter or Adapter. Now this product is meant to let you use your stock uh, or stock style analog gauges and to have basically anything act as an output for those gauges. So we can convert data coming from OBD2, from an aftermarket ECU, or just from other sensors or sensor types for display on your stock style gauges. So I've got a cluster from a uh, first generation Miata here. This is pre-OBD2. So all of the communication is coming from the one gauge hub here that we have. We've got wires that are running out to the fuel level, the tachometer, the oil pressure, and the coolant temperature gauges. So we'll be, we're gonna be able to control all of those from the hub. So I wanna show you a little bit about what the unit can do um, and just a quick overview of how to calibrate it. So it's gonna come with this little screen that you use for calibration. You can unplug this screen as soon as you've got everything set up so you don't have to always have it. But this uh, calibration, you're just gonna choose between the different outputs on the one gauge hub. So there are six total outputs. The first four are for your standard gauges like fuel level, oil pressure, coolant temperature. Those are one or two wire sensors normally. And then the fifth and sixth are for your tachometer and your speedometer respectively. So in this case, we are using a Widgetman um, tachometer adapter to change the signal from a digital one to the analog style signal that's required for this cluster. And we'll have those available on our website as well. So we're gonna, let's just set up this um, coolant temperature gauge. I've got that set up on the first um, gauge output. So we'll begin calibration. Now I already have this set up as coolant temp, but what's cool about this unit is that, say I wanted to remap the coolant temperature gauge and use it as something totally different. Maybe I wanted to see, let's say, um, fuel pressure or AFR on that gauge instead. If you had an AFR input running into the one gauge, you could display that on your coolant temperature gauge. Now that's kind of a weird one, not something most people would wanna do, but maybe you wanna see, instead of fuel level, maybe you wanna see fuel pressure on your gauge, something like that. So all of those types of things can be done here. So let's change this back to coolant temperature. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set the lowest temperature that we wanna see on the gauge. So basically, what is the lowest point um, of the needle sweep represent. And let's say we wanna see that as, we'll just make it easy. Let's make it um, 100 degrees. So this resets at about 250. Nope, just hit reset to zero. So let's set that at 100 degrees, okay? So that's gonna be your cold position on the gauge is gonna be 100 degrees. And then we're gonna save that, a little hard to do one-handed here. And then let's actually set the low position of the needle. So we wanna find the spot where it just starts to creep up and move. And that's gonna be our low position. So let's do 90 right there. We saw the needle land right on that cold. And then the high value. So what do we want the hot or the H to represent? In this case, let's do, let's make it easy again and do 200 degrees. So this is gonna be a 100 to 200 degree sweep of the needle on this gauge. We're gonna save that. And then same thing here, we just wanna see right as that needle starts to hit the H is right about where we want to land. So right there, let's set that at 180. And then on this screen, we can actually test it and see uh, what those values represent just as a check. So at 100, we should be right. So that's a little bit high. We may want to recalibrate that just a little bit. So if we want to see 150, that should be about the middle of the sweep of the needle. So that's pretty, there we go. So that's pretty close there. And if we, we could sweep it all the way up to 200 if we wanted to and just kind of get an idea and check. So we can, we might adjust this just a little bit, lower that low temperature so it gives us a little bit more accuracy. So you can recalibrate this as many times as you need to. Then once you save it, that's locked in. And now you've got a working coolant temperature gauge that's gonna use your coolant temperature input from whatever the one gauge is set up to use. So again, that could be OBD2, it could be an aftermarket ECU like Holly, Haltech, Phytech, you know, Megascore, any of those um, that we're compatible with. And you can display all of that on your stock gauges um, using our new digital to, uh, to analog converter. So if you have any questions, as always, reach out to us. We're more than happy to help and uh, kind of show you around, answer any questions about the product. Appreciate it.